everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome all Assassin's Creed fans! And we have a lot of to cover today. So without much of a chit chat, let's go! As usual, we are starting with North America. There we got Jack in the box this time. Something new. And as you will see later, it was never ever repeated again. So, there were actually two versions. One for every retailer and one for GameStop. From outside, they look the same. The same box and pictures. They got more or less the same content. That means check in the box, a key to open it, the game, a hardcover art book, and a bonus DVD. And I have almost forgotten map of Roma from one side and a signed poster from the other side. So what was different for GameStop? Where everybody else got Plague Doctor, GameStop got Harlequin. The key for each of them was different to the point where you won't be able to open them with the key from the different edition. And my opinion is that actually Jack in the Box for GameStop had much better key because the one for Plague Doctor tends to break a lot. And that is not good. In Europe, by this point, Lineage Movie was very common. So common that it made into both standard collector's editions. First of them was Auditore edition. And as you can see, the design of it was a bit different from what you got later on. Holographic face of Ezio, that one was different. Those collector's cards were different. And the packaging was a little bit different. The lineage case, on the other hand, was the same. With this edition, you got that holographic face, an interesting looking box, then the set of cards and three lithographs. Now, if you wanted to upgrade it, you went for Codex edition. Yet again, there are differences between what was shown for pre-order and what you got. As you can see, Assassin's sign on the top of the box was turned, facing the narrower side, which doesn't have much logic because normally you would open it from the wider side. Good thing they decided to correct it. You got practically what was in Auditore edition minus the holographic face and additionally a very neat looking Kainaway hardcover art book plus two bonus DVDs. Despite that only one was advertised. So one of them is actually soundtrack and one of them is bonus DVD. And this time you also got the map of Roma, just like people in North America got, except that yours was slightly different and the other side of the poster had no signatures. And what did we get for tinier markets? Here is Czech Republic again with their Brotherhood gift edition. Interestingly enough, despite that it was called in Czech, that word gift was kept in English. So if you are searching for it, keep that word gift there. This one is again a headache to get any kind of hold on, especially unpacked one. That means that I was just happy to get something yet again. I know. I would jokingly dub this edition do-it-yourself edition. Why? Because there are two things that you need to assemble together in order to enjoy them. First is small wooden box for all kind of jewelry or small stuff. And the second is a paper diorama. It might sound strange for you, but given just how much history Czech Republic and paper modeling has, 
This was actually a pretty decent localization choice. Poland didn't want to fall behind and they have released their own localized edition. It just contained the game and a figurine of that white Roman Ezio. Actually, that one is also a bit more expensive to get these days. Interestingly enough, the outer box, where I put the inner box with Ezio, was done pretty well. They actually cared that much as to go for the full design. As you will see in the future, some of those localized editions were not so considerate. Russia is next on the list and they got, I would say, two to three editions, but two for sure. One, what is claimed to be limited edition, but it's actually gift edition. The thing is that the writing on the top says limited release, meaning not many copies, but the name of the edition is in the middle and says gift edition. That's the correction of misconception what's the name of this edition. And another misconception was that it only contained small figurine of monk. No, in reality it contained one random tiny teeny metal figurine, one of six to be exact. Other than that, it has also soundtrack as a bonus together with the game. Now, if you wanted all those figurines together instead of buying that game six times to get it all done, you were opting for collector's edition. And this was their type of codex edition. So this one was neatly packed in a big box with all six figurines and the very same hardcover art book what people from Codex Edition got. Additionally, it also had bonus DVD and a soundtrack. Interestingly, when I was researching this one, I have found that some of those copies had dark looking art book and some had lighter, more brownish. So there might be differences maybe even in the Codex Edition. If you look carefully, you will see that the game with the bonus disc was packed in a bit smaller box. So I can only assume that that was their other special edition there. Unfortunately, I was not able to track down any traces of it. And it might be that it just contained the game, which would mean that I would not even consider it a collector edition at all. We are arriving to Asia. And there we have actually two collections this time. One is Japanese special edition that also included bonus disc packed in one big box. And the last one is the one with that very hard to find steel case together with the game, bonus DVD, and set of now differently looking cards. These are blue, even more blue than what you can see on first sketches for Codex and Auditor edition. So this one, my dear collectors, is very hard to get. If you have it, again, you are the lucky ones. Today, I do not have any honorable or dishonorable picks which means that we are at the end of this video. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a like, do not forget to subscribe, and you can comment if you have any of these collector's editions and what you think about them. Thank you very much and see you next time with Ezio yet again, this time in Istanbul. Thank you. Bye.